In this video, we'll look at how can we use Excel to do the model validation. So before we introduce the Excel, I want to uh, re review of, uh, of what we've learned in, the, in that section in our videos. So for the model validation, we will mainly to examine the assumption for our regression models. So here we we'll at least the four assumptions for our regression model. The first the error term is a random variable with the mean of zero. The second, the, the variance of the error term denoted by sigma square is the same for all values of independent vari uh, variable. Third, the value of the error term are independent. The last one, the error uh, is a normal distributed random variable. So from the video, you already know what kind of diagram you will use to validate those assumptions to check the assumption is valid or not. So in this video, we want to see how can we create those residual plot, normal probability plot, and how can we find the standardized value, and how can we use those values to diagnostic the outliers. So before you watch this video, you should already watch the video uh, on the concept related to the model validation. So after you download the Excel file, and what I want you to do is review the video on how to get the regression model and how you get the uh, descriptive statistic and how you calculate the, how you calculate the confidence interval, prediction interval. So in this video, we'll focus on look at the graph output from our regression analysis tool pack. So after you click the, the regression um, uh, command from your data analysis, and you should have these three um, graphs. So if you forget how to uh, generate these three graphs, please go back to re uh, read, watch the video about how can you use the Excel to do the regression analysis. So now let's look at these three graphs. So the first one, let's look at the graph called the TV ads line feed plot. So you should feel familiar with this uh, scatter plot. So actually, we learned it before. We call it the scatter plot for x and y. So in this example, the TVS, the number of TVS is our x variable, independent variable. The car sold is our dependent variable. And the blue dot, as the notation here, is the number of car sold. So what's the, the orange dot? So the orange dot is predict the car sold. So before, instead of using the dot, we use a trend line. So actually, we want to use the line feed plot to draw our scatter plot with the trend line. So we need to do some modification for this plot. First, delete the orange dot by choosing any one of the orange dot. And find the delete button on your keyboard and then click the delete. So now you should only left the blue dot. Then choose any one of the blue dots. After you choose it, uh, right click your mouth. Then you will have one option called add trend line. And click the add trend line. At the same time, you can add the display equation on the chart and uh, display our square value on the chart. Then close it. Now you will have the scatter plot with the trend line. And also, you can move around the y, the equation, the r squared. So you will have the estimated uh, uh, regression equation and the coefficient determination showing on this plot. So remember, this plot is called the scatter plot with the trend line. And we're using this plot to test the assumption 1 to see if x and y has a linear relationship. Also, if by looking at this plot, we can find the outliers. So this is the first plot we will use to do the model validation. And the second plot I want you to look at is the, this plot, called the residual plot. If you try to remember what we saw in the, vid in the lecture video, and you should remember it. And we will use it to test the assumption that if the residual are independent from our x variable, because if you look at this plot, it looks like the scatter plot. The chain, the only difference is our vertical axis. Before the vertical axis is car sold, which is our dependent variable. But now we change the car sold to residuals. So we use the residual against the, no, the x variable, TVS. 
trying to see if as the x variable change will our uh, residual change. If you cannot see any pattern, and we will see the residual and the x variable are independent, which means our assumption is not violated. And also, by looking at the residual plot, we will see if the residual are evenly distributed around our zero horizontal line. Because we have assumption for our residual, that is, uh, it's normally distributed with mean zero. So if the mean zero assumption is not violated, you shouldn't see the residual are not evenly distributed around our zero horizontal line. So based on this graph, we can see the zero I mean the residual with the mean zero assumption is not violated because all those blue dots are evenly distributed around this zero horizontal line. So this is the third plot we want to look at. And the third plot is normal probability plot. So we so use it to test the normality assumption is valid or not. For the regression model, we have assumption that is the residual are normally distributed. So we know that if our normality assumption is violated, if we uh, this blue dot will be not uh, lined at the straight line, it will have the curvature. So we can find some example on the slides which violated the normality assumption. So based on this uh, scatter plot, the normal no, normal probability plot, we can find the those blue dot approximately uh, lines on the straight line. So we can see that normality assumption is not violated.